It's been 49 days since I've last walked without using crutches or a brace on my leg, and today we get to go to the doctor and get my brace taken off, which is something we've been looking forward to for a very long time, mainly Sarah. If you didn't know this by now, I got my fifth knee surgery back in February. I had a double knee surgery back in July, and while I was recovering, I retore my meniscus. I may or may not have been doing something very, very stupid, like surfing. All right, it is happening. Woo, uh, best day ever. I don't really know what to expect though, because like I, I, I still can't walk really. It's been six weeks, we'll see how this goes. I don't feel like I'm capable of walking yet, but gotta start somewhere. Sarah was absolutely fired up in the car thinking that today's the day that my brace is coming off and I finally get to start helping her again. <laughs> get that. Off. We brought both kids with us to the appointment, and of course it takes 45 minutes for us to get in, so we spent the whole time looking at planes and screaming at them and just trying to keep both kids entertained. Yeah, they said the brace isn't coming off. <laughs> Turns out my leg is not strong enough. It's the size of a toothpick, and I'm not going to be able to support myself without my brace. They said probably another two weeks. Feels like we got robbed. And to make matters worse, Sarah is leaving for four days. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, wow, you look really nice. Oh, thank you. I'm going to attempt, not attempt, I will, I will take care you of both really kids. I'm gonna mom. call my mom and have her come help me when she can, but she's very, very busy, so. This is going to be okay, and you're gonna have an awesome time, and everything is gonna be fine, okay? It's really hard for me because I feel like I've been holding down the fort for like eight weeks. I think and, and I now... will give everything I've got these four days, and I've gotten really good at crutches. I mean, you wouldn't believe how good you can get after being on crutches for five months. That's for how many days? Three days? Four days? Sorry. We said bye to mama and things got off to a great start, you could say. Okay, bye bye. It's okay, oh dear. We got this, Sunny. We got this. I am a capable dad who may be on crutches, but I am still very much capable and things are gonna be okay. My flight is leaving in like an hour and I'm so excited. It's gonna be a little bit warmer than here, so. It'll be good. Yeah, Sarah may be going to Palm Springs to watch a pro tennis tournament with her family, but we're gonna have more fun. Starting things off, my mom came and picked us up to take us over to her house for my sister to cut our hair, because why not? It's something to do, and we both needed a little trim. Jack Jack, are you ready for a haircut? No, I go first, then you. I don't know if that means Sunny wanted her haircut too, or if she's just mad. Buddy. You look so cool. I don't really know what kind of haircut I went for actually. I just said to trim it up and make it look nice. We got some glamour shots because that's what dads and sons do together. Meanwhile, Sarah and her family are having a great time watching the tennis tournament. I've gone before and I might get invited again if I'm not broken. Day one, so far so good. It is 10 p.m. right now and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fall asleep, but I should be going to bed right now. <sighs> Wish me luck. <laughs> All right, I'll have to bite your toes. No. <laughs> Sunny's awake. Bah! Should we go get her? Rah! Rah! All right, here we go. Get him on the floor. Okay. Oh. You hold You're gonna hold my crutch for me? Yeah. Oh, thanks, buddy. But you have to hold it because I don't need crutches. <laughs> This is scary. That actually was really easy. I've been on crutches for six months. I know how to go downstairs. Yes, yeah, she sleeps in the basement. The room that we were originally gonna put her in was not really set up as a bedroom. We didn't have blinds in it and it was just too bright. Oh, what do and way too hot and she couldn't sleep up here so we moved her downstairs where it was a lot cooler. She has been sleeping great down there so we're a little worried to bring her back up but it will be easier because it's just too hard to go down the stairs and get her right now. Hi, can you go upstairs? Ah! You got it. I made it for you, Sunny. <laughs> can I come up? I can come? Oh, are you gonna shed it? Are you gonna lock me out? Finally made it upstairs, and first things first, we gotta get Sunny her bottle. Today she wasn't letting me put her down. I had to carry her while I hobbled around trying to get her bottle ready. 
I can't wait to get my legs back. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that Sarah will probably have me kicked out of the house if I tear my knee again, and I wouldn't blame her. But let me just say this, she has literally been the mom and wife of the year. I'm not kidding when I say she has taken care of the kids and me pretty much 24 seven. And have I learned my lesson? Yeah, yeah, I have. I don't think I'm gonna be tearing my knee again anytime soon. I am going to be very serious with my health and I'm going to take care of my body. I'm only 28 years old and I cannot go into my 30s and get freaking knee replacements. Wait, wait, Mama wasn't in the Kenobi's house? Yeah, we stayed at his house. We stayed there, huh? Yeah. Does Mama want to live in Hawaii? Yeah, buddy. I remember. Maybe I'm bigger, I get a cookie in the whole Ah, yes, buddy. What I want to be. We're gonna make some yummy eggs, but I gotta need you to crack them, okay? Yeah, Jack lost interest after about two minutes of helping me. I'm gonna make them some breakfast now. Eggs is usually the go-to. It took me like 20 minutes to make them eggs, which is kind of sad, but that's life right now. And I am making it a lot harder on myself because I'm filming every Thing I'm doing, which I had to move the camera and doing that with crutches. Yeah, it was, it was a lot. Probably won't make a video like this again. It's a big strawberry. And then I managed to get Sunny up into her seat, and I think I did it. I got them breakfast. I've been standing for about half an hour and did not realize how purple my foot has got. I probably should go sit down. Is it hot or is it good? Hot. A little bit hot. Do you want a fork or do you just eat it with your hands? A doggy. Hey, can I try one of your strawberries? Yeah. Is it good? It's freaking cold. I eat so cold. Freaking cool. You eat your eggies? Yeah, they're so good, huh? Yep. I was starting to get a little nervous because I was not sure what we were going to do the rest of the day, but then grandma came in clutch. Thanks, mom. Hi. Hi. Thanks for helping. Jack, do you like playing with daddy or grandma more? Grandma. <laughs> Go. Oh! How did you pull that off? Whoa! Sunny is awake from her nap. Jack, can you go get Sunny? Yes, Grandma. Okay. We were gonna take the kids to the park, but now the clouds came out and it is no longer sunny. Looks like we're staying in here the rest of the day. I have never craved getting outside like I do now. I miss Hawaii a little bit, you could say. Hi, whoa. Whoa. Did Grandma get you that? No, I bought it. You bought it with your money? I scanned it though. Oh, you scanned it. Yeah, you did buy it. Is that you? Sunny at a dinner table at a restaurant is a recipe for disaster. Thanks, Dad, for helping out. <laughs> Are we gonna go night night? Have a kissy? Yeah. Oh. All right, first full day is done. It was nice to have some help from my parents today. That was huge. Hopefully Sarah's having fun. I hope she is. I'm really glad that she gets to be there with her family right now. We'll see how the morning goes. How's everybody doing this morning? Good? Yeah. I don't know what kind of help we're gonna have today, so. I don't think there is any actually. Today might be a chaotic day. Uh, what are you doing, crazy girl? Uh, what are you doing, crazy uh, girl? What? Uh, Jack? Uh, day two of making breakfast for the kids. You guessed it, it's eggs again. But this time they're green. My foot is purple. It's literally turning purple. After breakfast, it was time for racing. Honestly, it's so fun being a dad. This is by far my favorite thing, is just random stuff like this where they come and tackle me or they just wanna run around and just do the most random of stuff. I sometimes feel like I need to do all of these fun things or these extravagant things with our kids to make it fun for them. But in hindsight, I realized that moments like these are the ones that we're gonna remember most. I'm eating a beef stick for breakfast. Too tired to make anything else, but they're good, huh? Keep racing. Okay. Okay, go. Hey, will you help your sister come to bed? Daddy! Jack has been stepping up big time since Sarah's been gone. He's literally <laughs> bringing Sunny to bed for me because I couldn't get her. We finally managed to get Sunny down for bed though, and that was a lot. That was fun. House is a disaster now, so we're gonna have to get that cleaned. My mom did say she's gonna come over again though. She's been amazing. We're gonna take the kids to go to see some cool cars because Jack's been really wanting to go see this these cars. They have a little car show thing here, so we're gonna go do that to get them outside because it's actually really nice today. I'm just standing here balancing on one foot, by the way. My left foot balance is gonna be unmatched. If you know Jack, there is absolutely nothing that will make him more stoked than fast cars. Jack, what is it? What is that? 
What? Don't see that. Okay, let's go, let's go. The kids raced around the cars for a good hour and were so entertained. My parents, again, took us out to dinner, which was so helpful. I don't know what I would have done without them. You know a trash burger is? A what? A trash burger. A trash burger? Yeah. What is it? No. <laughs> hi, Bunny. Can you say hi? Hi. Did we have a fun day today? Yeah. Are we gonna sleep good tonight? Yeah. And then I get to see you in the morning? Yeah. Day three, baby. We're doing it. We're doing it, huh, Jack? <laughs> Miss Rachel saving us. Hungry little caterpillar. Sarah gets home tomorrow, so we've got tonight, tomorrow morning, and then it's done. We've done it. I am just grateful that she got to have some time alone because she deserved it. After what was probably the longest winter of my entire life, it felt amazing to get outside and be in the sun with the kids. <laughs> Daddy, uh, you need that. Oh, I, I don't want your cheese. What the? Well, I'm all done with Sarah. Okay, I'm just gonna put it in our grass right there. And surprisingly, it was terrible weather in Palm Springs where Sarah was, but the last day turned out to be really nice and they got to watch the best player in the world win the tournament, which was really cool. Let's say night-night. Night night news. We made it to day four and also my first day of physical therapy. Finally, after seven weeks. Soaking in some sun right now. Haven't seen a lot of that lately. Sarah gets home in like an hour. I see some. <laughs> you see some where? No, you don't. We were getting pretty anxious waiting for Sarah to get home, so we decided to get in the Easter spirit and do an Easter egg. <gasps> you found one right there. No way. That was a good hiding spot, was it? That was a good one. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you see it. Nice. Come on, get it. Yeah. Get it. Yeah. I think that's all of them, Jack. Oh, God, Mommy. Good job. Jack, did you know Mommy's almost home? Right now? In like 30 minutes, I think. What are you going to do to Mommy when she gets home? Play with her. And finally, the moment we have been waiting for after four long not that long, actually. It wasn't that long. It was actually really fun. Days. Sarah's home. There they are. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. How are you doing? Hi, baby. Where are you? With Grandma. Hi. We love you just as much as the kids. Thanks. Thanks. Hi. <laughs> 